Now, Krasner now has to face his Republican opponent, Car Charles Peruto Jr., this fall. Eyewitness News reporter Jen Carabello is live this morning along the Ben Franklin Parkway with more on the outcome of the election. Good morning, Jan. Janelle, good morning. That's right. DA Larry Krasner claiming victory over his Democratic challenger, Carlos Vega, last night. And now Krasner is saying the numbers show that he has a mandate here in the city of Philadelphia to continue the work he started in his first term. Let's take you there to where all the action was late last night. Eyewitness News at the Krasner primary night headquarters in Center City, Philadelphia. The number of supporters was capped there due to coronavirus restrictions. Still, Staff members from the DA's office and a handful of Philadelphia council members were in attendance. Now, as you mentioned, hang ups with mail in ballot processing did delay any early calls in the race for district attorney last night. Democratic challenger Carlos Vega had hoped to unseat Krasner. Vega, who spent 35 years in the district attorney's office before being fired by Krasner, along with three dozen other veteran prosecutors, said he feared the city would reach 600 murders this year under. Krasner's leadership. So he ran on the platform that criminal justice reform does not have to come at the expense of safety. But by the end of the night, Vega had conceded and Krasner declared victory. While Vega and other critics have seized on record breaking homicide numbers under Krasner and have laid blame on him, Krasner says these results show that the voters want him to continue to focus on his priorities, which include crime prevention and rehabilitation. The numbers say we have a mandate. What are we going to do with it? We are going to continue down a path that joins a focus on really serious crime with the reform that is constructive for society. Our highest obligation is to avoid the next victimization. That's our highest obligation. What that sometimes means is that we are seeking a very stiff sentence for a terrible crime. But much more than in the past, it also means that we are seeking rehabilitation and we are seeking to prevent the crime in the first place. Meantime, Vega conceded, as I mentioned late last night, he issued a statement here that reads in part, quote, My campaign was first and foremost about lifting up the voice of victims who have been forgotten by the current administration. I hope they were heard. I ran for district attorney to give victims a voice. I feel that D.A. Krasner has not lived up to the promises that he originally ran on and that the spike in gun violence we are experiencing is not being taken seriously, even though we came up short. Tens of thousands of Philadelphians agree. On the Republican side, defense attorney Charles Perudo is running unopposed. He had said he would drop out of the race if Vega won the Democratic primary. We are reporting live along the parkway. Jan Carabasi, Base 3, Eyewitness News. Back into you. Thank you, Jan. Pennsylvania voters 